Hey, how's it going? It's Jasper from No More Codes here. And in today's software tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create this functionality where um, you can click on a data record from a list um, and then be directed into a details page where we can, we can see more uh, fields about that data record you just clicked on um, with just two blocks. Okay, a lot of the software beginners actually have this mis misconception that they need to create one details page for each data record in their um, um, in their database for this functionality to work. Um, this is not true. What makes software such a powerful tool is that they enable us to achieve this functionality with just two blocks, a list block and a list details block. And we will create two pages to host the two blocks, one for the list block and one for the list details block. On the list block page, we'll add a list block of your choice and map it to our Airtable base and a table that we want to populate this block with. Set up some simple fields and then set the on-click action to go to um, our list details page. On our list details page, we'll add a list details block of your choice and map it to the exact same Airtable base and exact same table from that base. This is very important. If the list details block does not map to the same base or table, when the user is directed here after they click on the data record, they, they will not see anything. So please make sure that they are treated as a pair um, so that they both map to the same table from the same base. Once it is mapped correctly, simply just populate this block with um, as many fields as you want and set, the set, setup is pretty much complete. Now you might ask, this page is only showing this particular item. Well, uh, this is because we are in edit mode. We're currently editing the, your software application instead of um, in a preview mode. Software will actually populate the block with a random item from the table. This is to help us visualize how the block will look. So we can set up the field and then um, style the block um, properly. So to actually preview the functionality we just built, we will need to go to the list page um, and then click on this preview button here. Uh, now, if we click on a data record, we will come into this details page and then you can see that everything is populated accordingly. And if we go back, click on a different one, you can see that the details page will automatically switch its content accordingly to the data we just clicked on. Okay, um, now an extra note is that, yes, um, you only need two blocks to make this functionality to work, um, but it is under the assumption that you have only one block, uh, one table. If you have two tables and you want this functionality to work on both tables, you will need another pair of list and then list details block. So the rule of thumb is that you will need to have one pair of list and list details block per table and make sure that they are mapped um, uh, uh, correctly. And there you have it. This is how you can enable your users to click on a data record from a list and then go to another page to see more details about that specific data record um, with only two blocks. If this video helped, please like and share this video, subscribe to this channel for more and follow me on Twitter to engage with me and or just ask me anything. Until next time, ciao.